I'm almost to the end of this row that we're decreasing. Chain stitch. Now at the end, instead of doing a double crochet in the top of this, I you can either just do a double crochet in this space, or you can do like we've done before and do a double do a double crochet in the third chain up from the bottom. For me, it's quicker to just stick the hook in that hole and do it. Now we'll chain four and then do the next two rows with seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you'll just do them like we did before, not increasing or decreasing for the next two rows. We have the three rows with seven. Now we're going to decrease again. Get the four chains. Turn it around. And I'm going to skip this double crochet and do a double crochet on top. So this row will only have five across. Chain stitch and a double crochet. Um, not on top of this, I'm just going to do it in the hole. And now we have five. One, two, three, four, five. Chain four and do two more rows with the five. Okay, now I did the three rows with five. Now this is the last set. Chain four, turn it around, and all you have to do is a double crochet in the middle one. Make this down a little bit. And a chain in between, and a double crochet in the left. Oops. finished my three rows with three double crochets. I'm going to, instead of chaining four, because we're done pretty much, I just do one chain stitch. I'll bring the other end of this headband up so that the two ends are together. I'm going to turn this around and we're going to connect them. I'm going to put my hook through there and through the chain stitch next to the knot on the other side. And now this does not have to be perfection. <laughs> it probably won't be. It can be kind of random as a matter of fact. I'm just going to pull the yarn through all of those loops and then yarn over and pull it through the last two that are on the hook. And now I'm going to go into whatever ones I want to. <laughs> I'm going to go into mm, that one. And on this other side, I'm going to go in right there, pull the yarn through all of that, yarn over and pull it through, the last two on the hook. Now let's see, where would I like to go? I think I'll go in here and in here. 
you can tell, I, I'm not using any kind of sci scientific method. No real rhyme or reason. Kind of wherever it looks good and you feel like it needs to be connected. I think I'll do one more, kind of up this side a little bit. that mess and the last two. Now what I do with mine is go ahead and cut your yarn but cut a fairly long piece just in case you need to add uh, maybe a fourth maybe even a fifth row of these three because it's too tight. I doubt it will be too tight. You kind of want it to to feel tight so it's not falling off, but there's a lot of stretch, there's a lot of give to this. So um, just make sure it's not too loose because you really don't want it too loose. But before you tie this off real secure, make sure it fits. Okay, it fits perfectly, so we'll go ahead and kind of weave in the ends and then trim them. And you can do that again. Random. I just don't like to cut the yarn close to where the knot is, so I want to weave the ends of the yarn a little ways away from the knot. And however you want to do that is just fine. So, now I want to show you on another headband what you can do. <laughs> I haven't even done the ends on this, trimmed them as you can see. But I, I got a button and I sewed it on the same color as the headband so that I can add a flower. I'll show you what that looks like with some different colors. Okay, this is the really fun part. You can just wear your headband, of course, like this. But if you want an accent for a certain outfit, if you've got a yellow top, look how cute that would be. And so you've got the black center and the yellow flower. Fun. And you can crochet all kinds of flowers. If you happen to not want one that's this full, but oh, I just love that fullness, you could do just the center part of the flower, which there are tutorials for um, in a past blog. You can just do the center and have it a little bit smaller, simpler. Let's see what colors did I put on there already. Orange. Just, just endless possibilities. So fun. Here's a pink one we could slip on. Did I show the blue one already? Any color you want. It's lots of fun. <laughs>